When I joined the Aurora board, one of the few times I flew into New York, I flew in with my daughter who was about six at the time. It was a very cold morning in New York and she wasn't well. So we had to go outside to get something. We were standing at the corner of Broadway and 34th Street after we had gotten her medication waiting for taxi. The next day was board meeting. I walked into the Carnegie board place with the board meeting and Vatan walked over to me and said, were you in New York on 34 and Broadway yesterday with a little child? And I said, yes, this was my daughter who went to get medication. I did not expect his reaction afterwards. With tears in his eyes, he looked at me and said, why didn't you call me? I didn't want to believe it was you because no one told me you had arrived. Promise me that if you ever come to New York and there's a problem, you will call me first. And I said, I promise. Second example, I was planning a project in a group of very powerful individuals and I went to seek Vatan's um, advice. He looked them straight in the eye and said, I'm not going to support this project because I believe you all want to use this young lady. When the meeting ended, he called me, pulled me on the side and said, promise me another thing that you would never get involved in any venture with any group in New York without consulting with me. Vatan was someone who showed me in those very short six years that indeed remaining indifferent to the suffering of others was not something that he did. Even if he knew that you could afford, even if he knew that you had something, he treated you like you matter. He treated everyone like they matter. And I think in a world where everything has turned upside down, what is important for all of us is to walk in that spirit of our collective humanity that he showed us that we can change the world by doing billions, by giving billions and millions, but we can also change the world through our everyday interactions with people.